Today, I will be demonstrating Top Rate Insight from Top Quadrant, a data virtualization solution. Top Rate Insight provides unified access to query disconnected heterogeneous data sources as if they were in one place. Compared to traditional data warehouse methods, virtualization means that you don't have to physically move or replicate the data for query. And Top Rate Insight is powered by semantic technologies and uses highly flexible data mapping and merging mechanisms. As a result, new data sources can be added quickly and inexpensively, and users can explore information interactively in on-demand data marts. To situate this presentation, the problem TBI solves lives in an environment where big data swamps business and R&D daily, but it's the tremendous variety in this data that's even worse. You can see that variety in this slide greatly oversimplified, and it prevents effective communication and common understanding. In practice, the reality actually looks more like this. Information lives in disparate data sources, often on systems distributed across organizational boundaries. This confusion obscures the meaningful patterns and trends that analysts need to understand. Informed decision-making suffers when information systems can't talk to or understand one another. And it's hard to get where you're going when the facts, risks, opportunities, and critical decisions are obscured by the complexity. It's the proliferation of systems, functions, stakeholders, and needs that creates an enormous bottom line problem. Domain experts know critical questions that need answers, and they know that data exists within organizations and in external data sources that could answer these questions. But these critical questions are complex and can't even be asked because the data is often somewhere else, scattered in disparate sources, even on disconnected systems. But these questions could be asked and answered if, and this is a big if, the data could be integrated. Well, if you're in IT or you work with IT to solve this problem, you know that it's time consuming and expensive. And worse, it may not get priority if it's not in the budget. The most common IT solution, physical data integration, could be called move it all into one big box. Proven tools and technologies exist, but they're technology-centric and they can effectively support only certain well-defined scenarios. Today's pace of change makes these rigid data structures increasingly hard to maintain and use as the only approach to data integration. New data sources require more flexibility, increasing volumes are making replication of data more and more expensive, and users are demanding faster turnaround and self-service access to data. Data virtualization is a more modern methodology that addresses these problems. A virtual repository allows data to remain where it is and be accessed as if it were in one place. Semantic data virtualization is an even better solution offered by Top Rate Insight. It's a user-centric alternative and it has three major advantages. It offers management substantially lower cost and development time. It offers users deeper insights for better decisions. And finally, it offers the flexibility IT systems need to help users understand poorly defined or changing problems. Insights come from understanding the meaning of patterns in the data and semantic technologies connect the dots to make meaning a first-class citizen. The user gets more meaningful queries, more integrated and meaningful results, and the freshest, most relevant available data. The results are more meaningful precisely because the semantics of the information are made explicit in relationships among the data objects, concepts, and data sources. TBI's flexibility makes it easy to build incrementally so that domain experts can ask unexpected questions even after the integration has been done. What we'll demonstrate in a moment is how TBI can enable true interactive exploration by federating queries over distributed data. How does this work? Each data source is mapped to a common model of meaning expressed in terms that are familiar to the users. This model can be as small or as large as necessary and can be easily evolved and extended. Users formulate their questions and explore information based on this common information model. Finally, Top Rate Insight surfaces answers by translating requests into the language understood by the individual sources and intelligently merging the results. 
So how will this look in today's demo? We'll use a very simple example to see TBI federate queries over several connected data sources. To do this, we will use several simple, virtually integrated data sources that hold information about people, in this case the Kennedys, movies, and books. Although these example sources are quite simple, TBI is designed to integrate and query nearly any type of heterogeneous data standard relational databases, XML, spreadsheets, even existing data warehouses. Sources can be internal or external, and they can be structured or unstructured. Finally, at the bottom of this slide, you can see two complex queries that I'll be demonstrating. A quick overview of two simple concepts will help you understand what we're about to see, and I'll talk more about these when we're in the demo. TBI uses the concepts of connect sets and explore spaces to organize and explore its data. A connect set is a data hub to which data sources are connected, and the connect set also routes user-generated queries to the right data sources. An explore space is a space created by users to save the results of their queries for further discovery and exploration. So in the demo you're about to see, I'll be formulating several complex questions We'll use these questions to search the connected data sources and then see how Top Rate Insight fuses the data gathered into an integrated result set for a 360 degree view of everything that's available for this particular result. Once we have this data, we're going to use it to easily explore related concepts and discover new connections. With that, let's take our first look at the Top Rate Insight product itself. Okay. Here we are at the home screen of Top Rate Insight. At the top, you can see several of the connect sets that I mentioned previously, and we're going to take a look today at the Movies, Books, and Kennedy's connect set. Clicking on that, we can see that, in fact, the connect set has integrated data sources associated with it, and we get a little bit of descriptive information about each one. And if you look over to the left, we can see that there is already an explore space here, which has been created. Someone was searching for John Kennedy in the data. And these explore spaces, if you recall, are the areas where the user will search and persist the data that has been retrieved from their queries in order to do additional exploration or collaboration at a later date. So we're gonna go ahead for the purpose of this demo and create a fresh explore space. And we'll call it demo. And just that quickly, we've made a space where we can actually explore these connected data sets. Going into the demo, we're going to notice first that there's a number of panes here in which data will appear in a moment, but I'll describe them as I continue with the demo. Up in the upper left-hand corner, we see data entities, which are the high-level concepts that are associated with the exploration we're interested in doing. These concepts, also known as the model of meaning, reflect the interest and knowledge that the subject matter expert would have about the domain itself. So we're going to be searching today for movies and people and professions, but initially I want to point out that these upper level concepts are fully customizable and they need to be created to reflect the needs of the actual exploration or data source that you're going to be working with. So clicking on all entities, we're going to go and simply perform a search within these entities for the word Kennedy in any of our data sources. And if we go ahead and perform the search, we find that we get 35 associated results. You can see them displayed down in the lower right-hand corner. And if we open the data entities once again, we can see that we have actually retrieved data from each of the three data sources. There's one book associated with Kennedy's, several movies, each one you see Kennedy's, and 28 people who are also Kennedy's. Within the data, we can see John F. Kennedy here. Let's go ahead and click on John Kennedy, and we can see data is brought together here in a 360-degree view of the information about this particular instance, John F. Kennedy, that's available in all three data sources. To see this, down at the lower right-hand corner of the pane, we can click on Show Data Sources, and the provenance of this data will indicate for each piece of data retrieved which data source it was found in. 
So this label, John F. Kennedy, was found in books and movies, but John Kennedy was a different label found in the Kennedy's data source. Most of this data here, children, college, parents, professions, were all from the Kennedy's data source. But down at the bottom, once again, we can see that he wrote several books, A Nation of Immigrants, Why England Slept, Profiles, and Courage. We're going to go ahead and turn off the data sources, compress the results again, and take a look at something else that's really striking about this information display. Beyond simply integrating the data from three data sources, I want to point out that Top Rate Insight has the capacity for an enormously rich information display. Obviously, we have a photo here. If there's media in the data sources, Top Rate Insight's capable of integrating it. And similarly, you notice that some of the data that was brought in comes in as simple string value text, but others of the data has come in as hyperlinks. And this is really key because John Kennedy has additional connections which might be very interesting to explore and we hadn't thought about them in the original search. Jacqueline Bovier, his wife, was not a Kennedy found in the original search, but if we click on her name, we see her integrated data stream and we can explore that as well, along with whatever other information might be available about college or profession. Next, let's go ahead and try the more complex search I mentioned earlier that has to query over two separate data sources. We're going to look for senators who also wrote books. Well, senators are also people, so we'll search through people for the profession senator and who also wrote books of, let's just say, any title whatsoever. So we're going to be searching for people who are senators who've written books. And we go ahead and do the search and find three results, Edward Kennedy, John Kennedy, and Robert Kennedy. If we look at Edward Kennedy, once again, we see his integrated data stream. And sure enough, he is a senator who has also written books. Robert is as well. To close today's demo, we're going to do a query across three data sources. We're going to look for movie portrayals of people who have a child who's written books. This will require that we touch the movies database, the books database, and the people database. To do that, click on portrayal, and we'll look for the person portrayed to have a child who has written a book. And once again, we can have the book be any value whatsoever. Perform the search. And we can see now that we've gotten a number of results. And as you can see, these results are not people, they're actually portrayals. And they're portrayals of people in a movie. So here we have John F. Kennedy portrayed in Kennedy. Have John Kennedy portrayed in Kennedys of Massachusetts. Jackie Kennedy portrayed in the Kennedys. And we can notice that there's only two individuals here who have been portrayed in these movies, Jackie Kennedy and John Kennedy. And the reason is because if we go to one of the portrayals, say John Kennedy, we see the person portrayed is John Kennedy. And if we click on John Kennedy, we go through to his information and notice that Caroline Kennedy is a child of Jacqueline and John Kennedy who has written several books. So that completes the demo of Top Rate Insight. I'll just return to the slides to summarize. We've just seen how Top Rate Insight enables us to formulate a complex question using a simple user interface to search through disparate but connected data sources and integrate the results of these for a full 360 degree view in which we're able to explore related concepts and discover new connections. What benefits have we seen Top Rate Insight offer in comparison with legacy systems? Virtualizing data storage allows for the elimination of costly data replication and ETL. Simple change management 
enables new data sets to be added as needed, and new schemas and concepts can be updated without changing underlying data sets. TBI is easily configured, allowing users to explore and discover on demand using a variety of techniques. To summarize, TopRate Insight connects the dots within your data and among your data sources. TBI offers data virtualization for better information ROI with reduced costs and shortened development cycles, federated query to bring deep insight into disparate data for better business decisions, a simple form-based interface for complex queries, and a flexible, adaptable, evolvable system based on trusted standards. Top Quadrant has many years of experience using proven semantic technologies to solve difficult data problems. We would like to hear more about your applications and challenges. Please contact us and we can explore how our suite of products and technologies can benefit your bottom line. Thank you for taking this time to understand how Top Rate Insight can make the challenges of data integration simpler and more cost effective.